For a limited time only, head on over to MrMuttCoin.com and use code GS for 15% of all purchases. Not only can you purchase coins, you can purchase players, you can purchase training, you can sell coins for a little bit of extra bread, who can use extra bread, you can get your solos done, you can pay to get your level grinded, you can sit back and relax and let someone do the dirty work for you. Go to the link in the description and make sure you click it and head on over to MrMuckCoin.com and use code GS for 15% off all your purchases. Enough of us, okay? You want to see some gameplay? Let's get to the gameplay. It's serious mode taking on Beast Bill Mac. It is going to be RG and Scott Cole on the call. Gentlemen, take it away. Well, we're back again, partner. It is the winner's bracket here between Beast Mode Mac, serious mode. What that tells me is either of these guys have lost so far this weekend. Yeah, and two veterans that haven't lost, Scott. And the thing that I find interesting about this matchup is usually Serious Mo has an intimidation factor. He's not the guy that you want to be sitting next to right there on the main stage. If there's someone that he's not going to intimidate, Beast Mode Mac has that pedigree. He has a ton of experience, a ton of live event experience, underground experience. And when I talked to him last night after the tournament about this matchup, he was filled with confidence. He's, he feels he has the defense to stop Moe's heavy run game. He feels his offense is conservative enough where he won't make mistakes. And he is extremely confident going into this. I think the quote he gave to me is, RG, it is the return of the Mac. There you go. 80 grand for the 26-year-old. He is 46 and 16 in MCS. So he's had a lot of success here in his fourth Major appearance, but he's going to be taking on Sirius Mo, the man from Lima, Ohio. Won the first ever MCS belt out in San Francisco. Beat Sirius, uh, excuse me, Skimbo in overtime. And it's been a long road back for this very moment. Yeah, uh, I get inspired by a lot of these Madden players, Scott, but one of them that's inspired me more than a lot of them is this man, Zach Lane, Serious Mo. He's been on a mission to be one of the best Madden players all time for the last several years, and despite some bumps in the road, some hurdles in life, he continues to put his mind to it, give it everything he got, and he'll stop at nothing to accomplish those goals. How can't you be impressed with someone like that? I'm a huge Serious Mo fan. I'm a huge Beast Mode Mac fan. And this is just a real treat for anyone that's a competitive Madden fan. Well, it's going to be an NFC East rivalry game. Cowboys, Eagles. And we are here on Championship Sunday here in Arlington, Texas at the Madden NFL 20 Classic. And let's kick it off. Kick the day off in Pizza Hut Stadium. And Mo and the Cowboys will take it first. Cross the 20. And we'll get rodeoed down to the 29 yard line and that's where serious mo will go to work oh let's rock scott you can just feel the intensity up there on the stage from these two players they know what is at stake and they've worked very hard to get here high formation get used to this and you're going to hear me say the name zeke elliott a ton here today and he'll pick up three yards on a quick dive to start the game. And I'll say, Scott, this is a big opening drive. Beast mode, the thing that kept him so confident going into this game when I talked to him is he really feels he has the defense. So it'll be interesting to see how that defense looks on this opening drive. I want to wish everybody in chat a happy Sunday. Let me know who you got in this game. You got Beast Mode Mac or Serious Mo. Give me a one for Mo, two for Mac. Mo's feeling good, man. Hurry up, bright and early. Giving us a few tunes, and Zeke will fight his way for the first down. It'll be a first and 10 at the 40. And you know Mo's got his girlfriend, Mama Mo, Auntie Mo, back there in Ohio, watching them, cheering them on. They're always supporting them. They're glued to the TV. You know, Beast Mode Max got his new esports sponsor, Pioneers GG, watching, cheering him on. And, and it's, it's a hurdle. hurdle. And it's hurdle. up to the they races. They didn't prepare for that one. They didn't prepare for that one. And it pushed him out of bounds game. at the nine-yard line. Keep reset. That ain't going to work. That ain't gonna work. Keep resetting. 
Keep reset so I can't snap. That ain't gonna work. They didn't prepare for that one. First and goal now at the nine. <laughs> to the outside, Pollard. That preparation last night, that was so important to be in the winner's bracket, to get out of here early and start to prepare for your next opponent. I'm just, I'm just captured by the emotion. You can tell they're playing with Mo's cap and he's getting excited. Beast Mode has laser focus right now. Let's see who's going to get it done right here in the red zone. Stretch it out one more time. They didn't Ezekiel prepare for Elliott. that one! I know Stiff for a fact they didn't prepare measure. for that one! It's over! First touchdown of the day. And he's going to go up 7 to nothing here on Beast Mode back. Yeah, he's always been a young man. That's serious, Mo. That's someone that's going to fight for what he believes in. And he believes in trying to win that belt here at the Arlington Esports Arena. And as you can see, he's leaving it all out on the virtual gridiron, letting Beast Mode hear about it. How will the Mac respond? And we talked about it. I said it right before this match started. Mo is an intimidating player as you see him get icky right here with Whoop. Zeke. Whoopsie. And he lets you hear about this type of stuff. And it might throw other players off of their game. Beast Mode Mac is equipped to deal with this. He's grown up in this type of environment. And he is built to respond. The question is, can he? Makes his home in Missouri. You see the Chiefs hat. And we'll hand it off to Scott. Come here, little Boston. Second and nine opening drive for Beast Mode Mac. Trailing by a score. You know, the final is scheduled to start at seven. If we have all these running teams today, that might move up. Wentz. Oh! Come here, sexy. Oh, he almost hit it. Pick two. Come on, man! That emotion by Zach Lane. And I'll tell you what, Scott, on this big third and nine, this is different than the previous tournament. As this tournament went on in the earlier days, you didn't know exactly who were you going to get matched up. When these guys left the venue last night, they knew exactly who they were going to play, and they had all night to prepare. And so far, it's obvious that Mo took that time to get himself ready as he's starting off this game very strong. Yeah, three of the players left and out of the six are with EMV, so you prepare for one, you sort of prepare for them all. And there's a nice dot to the 46-yard line in business and plus territory now. You talk about EMB, this is the battle of two crews. Mo and that 818 crew that does consist of Kiv and Henry, one half of this final six. And then Beast Mode Mac in that EMB, which also consists of Mills and Joke, That's which dead. is the other half of the final six. We have an 818 boys versus EMB final six. And it just makes the rivalries that much more intense. Can we just play one squads game and get this thing over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for that squads tournament. I, I know you're with me on that one. Second and seven. No, the chat would love to see that too. Three pro users on the field on defense. Forget about it. Stretch it Come out. Here, that running game is boxed up right now here early. And the thing about Sirius Mo is not a lot of players, Scott, they can talk trash and, you know, they'll put on for the camera, but they'll allow it to throw themselves out of their game sometimes. It distracts them. Sirius Mo is one of the rare breeds where he can let you hear about it. He can let those emotions fly, but he's still going to stay focused and locked in at the task at hand. It's a very, very rare trait that not all Madden players have. Sirius Mo has it. Wentz. Picks up the blitz. Well, one guy got free, gonna and he's going close. off. You know who that is. You know who that is. You know who that is. For those that don't know, Byron Jones with the interception. Hey, 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 hey. Byron Jones, a big reason a lot of players play with this Cowboy. I know we talk about Zeke, but their defense also gives you... Byron Jones, who's a shutdown corner who can take away one that. side of that field. I know field. for a fact they didn't prepare for that one. I know for a fact. I know for a fact. 
<laughs> He's up talking because we're going to the second quarter. You think that young man's playing with some fire in his heart? If he can happen to win his second belt here today, there's going to be some emotion for Sirius Mo. It has been a grind to get back to this point. Oh, I would just love to be a fly on the wall at that watch party in Ohio. Prescott, there's oh. an RPO ah. to Amari. Look up in your eyes. Up in so long, they ride. That's got to be the new Taylor Swift. Sounds just like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't even want to break. Seek. I don't care. Second and two. And we talked about it, Scott, similar to Joke. Beast Mode runs this Eagle offense. I mean, similar to the Cowboys where you have to run the ball, but in, with these types of offensive schemes, it's hard to play from behind. So if Mo can get a score here and make it two possessions, it's going to be a very tall hill for Beast Mode to climb, especially with this run-heavy offense he's playing with. I, I'm used to Zach talking. I'm not used to the singing. I, I think he's in just blackout mode right now. It, it's leave it all out there on the virtual gridiron. No regrets. And here he goes. Zeke. Here he One goes. One man to beat. Can Mills oh, stop him? He will. I know they look up in It's a big eyes. play on both ends right there. That was a really good tackle by Beast Mode Mac. Most people aren't able to run backwards, strafe up, and make that conservative tackle. But for Sirius Mo, it's also huge because now he's in field goal range. He can take his time. And worst case scenario, if he plays his cards correctly, he'll at least get three points and make it two possessions. Strong formation again. This time it's Pollard that's going to tote it. And he's going to get to the edge, and he's going to get more. They didn't prepare for that one. They didn't prepare for that one. Touchdown, Mo. Oh, baby. I'd love to. Oh, baby. If Evan oh, gets a chance, baby. I'd love to hear from Mo what he means, the exact contents of they didn't prepare for that one. Is it him going from the eye close formation to a strong? I don't know exactly what he's referencing. But you can tell he, he had a keen idea of what Beast Mode Mac was going to try to do to stop that eye close formation. And he it switched ain't out it there. up. I mean, it's one on one. They sealed the edge. The tight end gets onto the safety. It's not happening. And it's 14 0. I put in real work, bro. I put in real work. Bro. I think last time Mo was in this situation was down in Houston. Remember, he got don't down matter. early to it problem. Don't matter. At the Madden Bowl. It don't matter. Fought back, but it this time matter. he's got a huge lead. And that's the thing about Zach Lane, <laughs> a.k.a. Serious Mo, is he has unlimited fight in him. In that problem game, he was down, I think, three scores at one point. Everyone was counting him out. They were calling for the game to stop, and he went on to make it a one-score ball game, fought all the way back, made it come down to the last and final possession. So this is a kid who'll never give up and he'll continue to fight regardless of the circumstances. Fortunate for him right now, he's in complete control. Two minute warning, third and four, and beast mode's gotta be careful here. If you're beast mode, you just need to get out here and get yourself some momentum. You're good enough to come back from this deficit, but you need to get one of these big momentum plays, start shifting things in your favor. Big drop, bigger throw. All right, I'm just going to leave by. Jackson hauls it in at the 46-yard line. Don't matter. You got to Remember, play. Beast Mode will get the ball to up. start the second half. So you go down here, get yourself a touchdown. You're right back in it. You heard Mo. He said you have to run that play every play because everything else in this formation is locked up. Wentz. This time oh, drops it right. down. First down. Tight ropes to the 33. Stripping from behind in Madden 20, a lot more risky this year, Scott. You used to be able to just spam that RB button. There's no more spamming. So you got to be on point with those strip attempts. Mo missed one right there. Wentz. Good pocket again. Same play. Don't matter. It don't matter. This time holds it to five yards. That's going to break up a second down with the 120 to go. 
both competitors with all three timeouts. They're on a championship Sunday. Trying to get into that final four. The throw to Jackson. Ooh. Big hit. The winner of this one will face the winner of Kiv and Henry. I mean, make it, staying in that winner's bracket is key, Scott. You, if you get all the way through the winner's bracket and make it to that final game, remember, you have to lose twice in that championship game. Come on, oh, man. Ooh. He's nervous. Pop, pop. He's nervous. Look at Beast Mode. And Mo's saying he's nervous. I think Beast Mode's focused right now, and he's just looking to get into that end zone so he could probably let some of that emotion go himself. I've been in that position before where someone's capping at you and you're just holding it all in because you know once you finally get back at him, you're going to let him hear about it. I feel like that's where Beast Mode's at right now. Back to the running game. This time cuts it back against the green. Going to be a third and five. Clock on the move. Can't be too cute with your play selection right here with 34 seconds to go. All three timeouts helps him in this situation. It's likely two down territory for the Mac as well, Scott. Moe's going to use a timeout. Look like he couldn't decide between 1 4 6 or nickel, and he might be looking at a 3 4 odd. And you see what they do at that play call screen. They're using the RB formation subs mechanic to make sure they get their personnel exactly like they want it for each formation. If you're not using form subs at the play call screen, you're not doing it right. Better go learn to use that mechanic if you want to play Madden on a high level. I form slot. There's the motion. Wentz steps, fires on a wheel route, and God. Scott will get to the end zone. And Beast Mode finally strikes. And look at the savagery of the Mac right there. Mo is calling him everything up there, but the Son of God showing a lot of emotion. And Mac finally stands up for himself, ah, and he ball. just stays silent and focused. Winner semifinal. Boom! And we got a seven point game now with 26 seconds to go in the half. Moe's got two timeouts. Look at it again, RG. Yeah, look at that dot. He sends the wide receiver to the flat, carries both of those defenders over there. The wheel comes right outside that hash mark. That's a good route combo. Zeke. Cannot give up a big play right here. Oh, man. Championship Sunday, Scott. This is what it's all about. Battling for the money, the glory, the recognition. Trying to accomplish their goals. They've worked very hard to be here. And now, he's just a few games away from getting done what you set out to do. Oh! Zeke right up the middle. Armbar still his feet time out with 13 seconds to go that is huge that gets mo into field goal range where again he can make a two possession ball game going into the half that was a humongous run right there from zach lane aka serious mo travis frederick he might go center from wisconsin had a huge block and now he's going to run it all the way down call timeout and take his three but that's points yeah, he needs to hit this field goal. This is a humongous field goal right here. you got to assume he can hit it. These field goals are a little bit tougher, though, when the stakes are so high. It's good accuracy. Accurate kick is up, and it is good. And that puts him up two scores as we head to the second half. And Beast Mode is going to get it right here. A little fair catch with Jackson, and he'll start at the 25-yard line. At three points before the half, huge, Scott. With Beast Mode getting the ball to start the second half, instead of driving to tie the ball game, now he's just driving to make it one possession. Serious Mode really put himself in a good position with that field goal. It's going to be second and in inches, just shy of the marker. Yeah, Beast Mode had set up to try to defend the stretch play, and it was right up the gut. Big play before the end of the half. But now he can respond. Scott, uh -oh. got some room. He's got to beat Brown. He's going to get on his horse. We can take it down at the 25-yard line. A big gain for Beast Mode. 
And now Mack in serious mode territory. So worst case scenario for him, he should at least be able to cut the ball game to one possession. This is just a battle of momentum, back and forth, back and forth. They're like two heavyweights throwing haymakers. First and 10 now, single back formation. Got Smallwood back there, who? And he'll go to Smallwood. And he Boom. takes a big hit. Just the stick work that these players have, Scott. Their ability to tackle in the open field, land those hit sticks, click on and make plays. They make it look so easy, but believe me, it's not that easy. That was conservative ball carriers. You saw him go back to balanced after that run. Just had to give Scott a breather. Got Ertz on the right side. Yeah. See, Johnson will come through. That's what makes this so devious. And they'll run right behind him. And here comes a third down. And you see him, he puts Lane Johnson, the right tackle at the tight end position in this formation. And he'll motion him to whatever side he's running. And Lane Johnson has that nasty streak ability where if he gets matched up versus a linebacker, DBR, safety, he's pretty much going to put him on their butt. Fourth uh -oh. down. He's going to have to take Decision three. Decision time. Max going to take three. This game just got a lot tougher. This game just got a lot tougher for him. And it's up. It's good. We got a one-score game. 2.28 to go here in the third. Scott Cole, RG along with you. James Coe keep an eye on everything. Evan roaming around. And Nick and lights out. We'll be up here on the stage in a few games. Bring you all the action. We got a, we got a good weekend so far. Oh, tell me about it, Scott. Have no. we had good food? No. But have we had good Madden? Yes. Don't even get me going on with the food situation. This is a big game though right here, Scott. This, what a way to kick off this Madden 20 MCS season. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Zeke Elliott! Oh, he might back be on out. Hill! And the safety finally takes him down. On the back side, but not before he gets to the 45-yard line. And that might be a big run, they Scott, but it's probably even a bigger me. tackle. They thought I was just going to come let him glitch me. That's so funny, bro. Y'all think y'all are the only ones that think about the game, bro. You're out your mind. <laughs> but what I was saying, Scott, that was a bigger tackle than it was run because Beast Mode still has serious mode outside of field goal position. He really needs to stand up for himself right here. He can't give up this first down. Or Mo will be in field goal position to make it two possessions and will be able to continue to milk the clock. This is a huge sequence of downs that we got right here. Stretch it out once again. This time almost got the block. Huge tackle. You can see Zeke Elliott closing in on 200 yards. But Mills able to trip him up in the backfield. That's that's a big stop on first down right there for Beast Mode. He needs to do that two more times here. Get Mo into a passing situation. Mo, a huge Cowboys fan here in Arlington, Texas, trying to get his second belt. It's been a few years. Oh! Zeke with a hurdle, and off he goes. Touchdown, Mo. <laughs> High haters! High haters! Think he's having fun High up there. High haters! Talking to the EMP crew. That's High haters! Hey, <laughs> hey it's not me, Mo. Come on, not now. us, Mo. Come on, we're loving it. If you're Mac, though, you still have plenty of time here, Scott. You got the whole fourth quarter. You got a minute oh four in the third quarter. You have all three of your timeouts. Well, you love Mo. You hate Mo. You got to love this move. Off to the races once again is Zeke. And you said it. He's a big Dallas Cowboys fan. And I can tell you from experience, Scott, when you're out here on the virtual gridiron playing with the team that's it's your favorite team, it gives you a little extra motivation out there. I remember Madden 08 when I could play with the Patriots. My Get best in year. Come on, bro. Get in shotgun. Get in shotgun. Come on. RG would retire Come the on. next year. 
No, no, I won it. Uh, I won it. Philadelphia Madden Challenge that very next year. But I did it with the Raiders that year. They were only 67 overall. Second and 14. He's talking to the EMB crew about showing some hate. Talking to a few folks watching our stream here That's on a huge. Sunday. That's huge. I'm just saying, he, he's, he's almost like the Cowboys. You love him or you hate him. Yeah, it's, it, he's a polarizing figure, and I mean that in a great way. Yeah, oh, some of the biggest stars, and not just esports, but sports in general, that's the persona that they have. You either love to love them or you love to hate them, but you know, no matter what, you can't stop watching them. Serious Moe's got that effect. Hands it off to Scott. Oh, Woo! big hit. And that's already the end of the third quarter. Put your fours up. 24 to 10, five minutes remaining. Remember, this is the winner's bracket. So if Beast Mode can't make a comeback here, he'll have another opportunity. Mike 48, Mike 48. I'm trying to think who's he going to uh, oh. match up with. This is big. He's either going to face Mills or Joke. I don't know who he's facing for sure, but I'll tell you what, Scott. That was a big-time play. Beast Mode had pressure right in his face, almost took a sack, slanged it to Ertz. Big way to open up this fourth quarter if you're Matt, continuing this scoring drive, but you got to finish. I form slot. they will move Jackson to the other side. Wentz. Looking! What a play. Oh. Haul it in for the score. And we just received word and confirmation Beast Mode would play Mills. If he can't hang on here, that would be it. EMP versus EMP. That would be an elimination match. And remember, Mills' only loss in this tournament was to Beast Mode. Wow. So you're going to have a little bit of a re revenge match. But we're not Possibly. there quite yet, though. Yeah, we're not there quite yet, Scott. Beast Mode still in position here. And Scott, that'll be close to a first down. It'll be a third and one at the eight, and that clock is on the move. That's a big play. Got to have a touchdown here. Wentz bounces out the formation. We'll hand it off. Get what a hack! What a hack! And little Thomas will scoop it up. Hey! Yeah, you can cap. Wake him up! Wake him up! Right here. Let's go! It is early on a Sunday. Oh. That's now my new alarm clock. I mean, you make a play like this. You're looking to wrap the game up. One of the biggest downs for Beast Mode, Mac. You run in there. You punch him in the mouth like that. Big players make big plays. And Serious Mo might have just made the play of the game right there. That was huge. That might have been a $5,000 play. Perfect. And now you got the perfect offense to clock this game out. Yeah, both of these players right now, Scott, have guaranteed themselves a cool $7,500. Winning this game gets you into that top four spot minimum, which would get you a guaranteed $12,500. So it's a five grand game of Madden that's going on right here. And that might have been the $5,000 hit stick. The craziest thing is Beast Mode has won more money in the MCS than Mo. But a win here would change that number. It's a good stat. Third and six. Oh, Mo just milking that clock. Elliott, get to the edge. Get off of me. Two-minute warning and coming. Serious oh, Mo's back. And here's the thing, Scott. We say Serious Mo's back. He's primed to make a run. It's not like he's been terrible in other MCS. This was the defending Saints Club champion from last year. Um, the only difference is he's just a player that had such high expectations, and people had such high expectations for him. It was almost a championship or bust type of situation. But anyone else, you, you win the Saints Club champion, 
that's a good that's a good season for most players for serious mo it was a bust ice him away baby and there is pollard good game good game it's over baby he's having fun right now this is going to be eight wins in a row. Let's go! Look at that emotion. And Beast Mode's going to have to regather himself. Oh, boy. Whatever. 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 Yikes. They ain't prepared for that one. Whatever. Beast Mode goes full Young Kiv on him. No handshake. No daps. And no love lost. 24 to 10. And now Beast Mode has to work his way through the loser's bracket. Let's bring back in James, Co. and James. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> Unbelievable action. Um, you know, and again, I look down at this drive chart. But Beast Mode Mac had four drives in this game. Two of them were turnovers. Interception to start and a fumble to close, and that is why that man right there, Sirius Mo, is moving on into the Final Four. I was just so impressed, so blown away, RG, by the defense being applied by Sirius Moe.